you know, uh, it's, it's coming together. It's something that a lot of us, um, as a federation, we worked very hard. Uh, and I understand uh, being the president of the federation, I get a lot of, uh, you know, uh, feedback and a lot of my name is going around. But honestly, I think that as a federation, um, I feel like we have the right people around for order, in order for everything to happen. And I think that as long as you surround yourself with the right people, the right coaching staff, the right uh, players, uh, you're gonna, you know, you're, you're gonna do great things. Um, and for us, this is what we have, uh, and it's coming together. And as we're learning, we're gonna keep on getting better. It was a big game today. Uh, we understand how it works. Obviously, next game is big for us. Uh, but even the outcome of next game, we put ourselves in a situation where we still continue. Uh, but we'll take it again, one game at a time. Um, you know, uh, like I said, the first game we didn't get the results that we wanted, but we have to move forward. Uh, today we got the results we wanted, but we still have to move forward. Uh, and the next game will come quick. So we just gotta enjoy this one and prepare for the next one. I think. A lot of people uh, take it for granted how, how important it is for a nation to see each other celebrating together and coming together for the rest of the world and social media to talk about you positively. Uh, these are all wins for us. Um, the scoring, obviously, we want to win, but the most important thing for us is, you know, when you go through what we went through, people don't understand those images, um, especially for the youth. Those images mean a lot. Uh, they carry on forward, uh, they shape who we want to be and what we want to do moving forward as a country. So I'm just happy when I see that support and our people back home being in the streets celebrating. Uh, we need it. We need it and now we have it and we, we know what it feels like. So we're going to continue trying to strive for it. Serbia, you know, I study a lot of national team and Serbia yeah. is one of them. And They've been a great example to basketball, um, not just obviously for Serbians, but for the rest of the world of what they've been able to produce, but how organized and everything is. So for us as a young nation and a young federation, these are the kind of teams that we want to be like. Um, and we'll take on the challenge, which is amazing for us to you know, be three years and playing one of the best teams. Um, and Serbia as a country is very similar to what we've been through and what sports has meant to, to the nation. So I think all the fans, Serbian fans and basketball players understand the same thing uh, when it comes to the passion and, and what you see out there are celebrating and enjoying it. I watch a lot of Serbian basketball and I, I see the fans and how much they celebrate and enjoy it. So we're, getting, we're just getting to experience that now. That's sports. Uh, if you want to be in sports or if you've been around sports, it's not your last time losing. I, you know, I would love to tell you you're going to win every game, uh, but you just keep on putting the work in and you take it for what it is. Take the positive out of it. Next time that we play that similar kind of game, uh, we'll have the experience and we'll be thankful for that game. So I would love to come up with a win, but sometimes, you know, sometimes that pain kind of you know, helps you. We, we could have beat Puerto Rico maybe by last second shot or by one, and we could have lost this. Uh, we would have been still, maybe that loss kind of helped us, you know, because we were up 10 in that game also, and we gave it away. Today we were up 10 and we, we built that lead. So I, I really, my hat's off to the guys for taking a step forward.